Okay. I'm walking. And when I put this up, this is going to be, I'll be home. So, I'm not going to do it. I was going to do a live video. And I ain't doing it. Bad enough they know I'm not home in the first place. But, I'm moving and moving. I'm at 800 steps. This one may be a little longer than the 10,000 I did yesterday. I'm thinking about it. I'm hoping it's not, but it's not bad. The shoulder's going. I think I'll be okay. I think they're walking away from me. So that's good. <laughs> no, they're walking towards me. Okay. Um, I was going to talk, I was going to say a lot about what's going on in the world, but there ain't nothing to say. Like I told, I'd leave it to my kids. That's what I want to do. I don't know why I can't do that. Huh? I wonder why I can't do that. Why I can't, uh, wow, this is really nice over here. This is really nice. Guys, so far they got like a little walking field. Uh, almost a little. Yeah, you got a little park over here. Oh, I never noticed that when it comes here before. Oh boy. But life goes on. And we keep it moving. Like I said, this is uh this is what we're gonna do. Hey good morning, how you doing? Peoples. You got you got you gotta be over the top. I'm gonna explain it. A little pop. I bet you can't grill though. Okay. As I was saying, I can't break this up. Okay. I'm gonna walk like I said, one more walk game. Definitely gotta take a shot man. Then I come back. This may be longer than the ten thousand I did yesterday. I got a funny feeling. Could be, you don't know. That's pretty nice. I guess they got a recycling truck and they got a regular truck. The guys put the <laughs> The guys put the bucket upside down like they're supposed to. So maybe. <laughs> oh, no, let me. But uh. Oh, hey, it's over there. I can, I can walk on that side. Add a couple of steps on this side. Uh, so I'm just holding this for now until a thought comes into my head. This is a 10,000 mile walk. You're going to be with me. <laughs> You're going to be with me. This is a 10,000 mile walk. Walk with me. You know, let's see, this is a, this is very nice, this is very nice, it seems like it goes back up in there, Park Vista Drive, probably looks like, a, uh, well, it has a way out, because it's, it has a way out, but, I mean, <sighs> what? See where, they, see where we going. Okay. Nah, I can't talk about that. We're going to talk about critical race theory. You know, my fellow Caucasian brothers and sisters, it's just, you know, I feel bad that you got to lump them all in the one basket. You got to. I mean, you, you can't, you almost can't separate them. You know, I, you, you, I know, we try to, but you can't separate them. Critical race theory. 
I've been reading on a lot of things, and it seems as though, for some reason, some obtuse reason, that they believe that a teacher is actually telling a white kid in his class, you should be ashamed to be white. <laughs> There's no teacher in the world is going to do that. But you know, people, people just don't understand about life, man, and things and philosophies. You just gotta live your life. Do what the Bible says. Treat each other you wanna be treated. You wanna be treated nice? Treat somebody nice. You know, oh man, it's nice down there. You know, you wanna be treated nice? Treat somebody nice, treat people nice. That's what the Bible says. So do that. That's what you do. But the white man don't do that. You know, I hate that I have to say, but but everyone has a problem. I mean, I always say everyone has their problems. Everyone has their situations that 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 they have to do. You know, every group Chinese, Japanese, English, Australian. Irish, I mean, Pakistani, everyone has their problems and their situations. And, and they, they, they just doesn't, they just don't want to get together. Like I said, America is, is, America is what you call uh, um, experiment. I told a couple of friends, my friends, that they said, "No, nah, America. I think, I think the people who got here first. And I said, this is my point. This is my point. This is my point of view. The people who got here first set the rules, set the situation in the new land." But, somewhere along the line, yeah, somewhere along, we, we've been taught this in school. Right? Like, we taught this in school that um, America's able to come here. Everybody come to the land of America. Not, on any, not any other country said that. Russia never said that. China never said that. Japan never said that. Australia never said that. <laughs> America is the only country that said, y'all come here, y'all be Americans, and y'all do what y'all do. Do what you want. We're the land of the home, of the home of the brave, land of the free. That's it. Home of the brave and land of the free. And that's what America has always been. But now, you got so long in. You know? So, hey, it's not what I'm saying there. You know? Hold the hand. Hold it. Hold it, break. Right on the feet. And that's what it is. Oh. But, um, okay, let me give you a train of thought. <laughs> a, train, a train of thought went totally, totally sideways. But, and that's where we get to understand ourselves. But wait, yeah, that's where we got to understand ourselves. America is the melting pot. So the combination of all these people coming together is not a democracy of, of everybody. You know what I'm saying? You go to Japan, you go to Japan, who uses number Japanese? You go to China, who uses number Chinese? You go to Russia, you go to Russia. I mean, 
the people, not a black Russian. Is that a black, is there such thing as a black Russian? Probably is. Now, you, know, you can't get around that. An African will go to Russia, learn Russian, go there, you may be happy. I have a friend that learns that knows that learn German. He knows German. He wasn't born there. But he stayed there enough. He stayed there long enough that he could speak the language. I'm telling you. So what I'm saying all that to say is this. Whoever got here first established the situation. And in their thought and mind was, oh, you know, that's not, in their thought and mind was, hey, let everybody come here. Now, the problem that thing got into when they brought us here in a certain period of time, they made us the slaves. Now, each each group had their problems. The Irish had a problem, but they was indentured servants. The Chinese, the Japanese, had, the, the Chinese, the Chinese had their problem. They didn't want to build, start building the railroads from America to here. So, in that thought of mind, anything like that, you say, "Oh shoot," you know. In that thought of mind, you say, "Oh man, what's, what's going on?" And that's what and that's what they did. Oh, oh boy. And they thought mine, that's what they did. And 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 so and, and when that all that stuff melts together, you get America. I think and I can't I can't my, my history doesn't go, it's not that deep. It's not that, it's, let me seg, seg, segue it for a second. History is deep. You can scratch the surface, oh, slavery was this, and and then and, and, and with Lincoln. It, that sounds very simple. But when you start digging deeper, oh, why slavery? Who was slavery? Who had slaves? And then, and then, and then, that's when you get into the deepness of the history. Or what's going on? Yeah, that's important. That the deepness of the history is 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 is, is, is studied. <sighs> so back to what I was at before. So America is is a melting pot of many many peoples. All kind of philosophies, because we here under one situation. We here under one philosophy. Number two, home of the brave, land of the free. And that's basically it. Yeah, I thought it came down. Right. I don't know. It went up there, but forget it. Yeah, home of the brave, and land of the free. And you can't beat that. That's the whole. That's the whole thing in a nutshell. Okay, did I talk myself out? I think I talked myself out. Got the walking game going, baby. I'm not even halfway there yet. No, oh, I'm kind of like halfway. I'm on the western side of a Maryland 200. Uh, this is the this is the road that we uh, come up to Dara's house when we come.
Yeah. So, it's a pretty, pretty long rock. But it's not, I mean, it's, it's very nice. I like, I like uh, Annette's house, I liked. I really thought we could do something in there. You know, it's in 1900. I'm losing 300 square feet. Where? You know, so either. I gotta give Mebeck her office. So she gotta have her office. So she gotta have her office. I could take, I can't take the other bedroom, but the kids gotta be here. So we got the same situation. Here. Three bedrooms, two baths. Okay, we got that. But we're losing space, so my thought is that two car garage. I can have somebody come in. I wall it off of the drums. And I wall it off of, yeah, I wall it off of the drums. And, and yeah. Two, like I said, two things are going to happen. Um. That's what I could do. The wall up for the drums, the wall, see how it goes from there. Okay. I think this is Norbert Road. No, this is Lay Hill Road. This is the road that I went up before. This is Lay Hill. Turn around. Yeah, I do that for me. That was following me. Game says this is the hard part. Okay, back to me again. All right, maybe you should make this a Lay Hill Road. Now I'm going back over, you can see that sign up there, I'm going back over the Maryland 200. I crossed over, now I'm going back over. Now I'm going to come up that block, which is, I forget which street is there. And of course, there's hills that I didn't even suspect. Okay, we're still moving. See how long the video goes. I think this thing stops up there 10 5 minutes, I think. <sighs> Whoa. <clears throat> but I think it's nice and easy. What else I was saying? Uh, what the music? Let's see. Oh, it really ain't too much more to say. I'm gonna have to bust out my water. What? I'll wait till I get to the. Uh, And uh, state maintenance. Maintain it. Woo wee. Okay.
That's your stock cow. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what? I'm sorry. I know, babe. I'm cutting this off now.